Now as mentioned, before we get started with this bad boy, we're gonna have to go on and charge it up. So, first step is just to hook this up to our drone. So on the bottom you will notice this, that's where we have to charge it up. So we're gonna go ahead and on the bottom like I mentioned, just hook this in there. Now this whole drone is very delicate, so make sure not to put too much pressure, but it should fit in almost all the way, as you guys can see. It almost goes fully in. Now don't put too much pressure here, just hold it from the bottom and then just push it in. Now this cable does look pretty weak, so just make sure to take care of it. Now we're gonna have to plug this in and just leave it for a little bit in order to charge it up. Now I do wanna mention that we do have to charge this up for 40 minutes. Now how do we know this dude is actually charging? Well, once we hook it up to our electricity, so I just have it hooked up down there, up to here, that's why I have it at the edge of the table. Anyways, you will see a red light. Now, I had to turn off all my lights in order to see this red light and record it, or else with all my lights turned on, the light is so, so minimal that you guys can't actually even see it, that it's red until you turn off your lights. So, if you don't see a red light, don't worry about it. Maybe put it in a dark place, <laughs> or just turn off the lights in your room, and you might see the light turning on. And that's just because the light itself is so, so dim. So how do we know this is fully charged? Well, the light will be off. At this point in time, it's still on. However, we're not gonna wait more. It's charged just about enough. So we're gonna disconnect it. And what we're gonna do is turn it on. So in order to turn it on, we're gonna see this right here, this button. Just press on it. There we go. So we can just hold on to the button. Just make sure to hold on to it until it turns on. You're gonna see those flashing. Then we're gonna see this green light, which is perfect. So the green light means exactly that, that it's powered on. And just in case to power it off, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're actually gonna press down on that until it just powers off. One to two seconds. So at this point, we're gonna make this fly since it's powered on. So we just have to extend out our hand and then we're just gonna drop it. Okay. What I'm gonna do at this point is zoom out a little bit so you guys can see this better. And I'm gonna do this again. So what we want to do is just drop it down. And if we want to turn it off at any point in time, grab it and turn it around. So that's how you guys can turn it off from flying. So we're gonna go like that. I'm gonna drop it down. And I would highly suggest when you're playing with this to be in an open field or a room that's bigger than this. Right now, everything's too tight around me, so that's why this will bump into everything. Now remember, to turn this off, it's quite easy. We just have to press down on this button, okay? So there's the green light. I'm gonna press down on the, on the button until we see no light again. And that's how you turn it off completely. To turn it back on again, there we go. Now it's on and we do this again. Now remember, when you're controlling this, it's not about touching the actual drone. It's just putting your hands around it, unless it touches you. It's okay if it touches you, there's all this protective gear around it. Nothing bad's gonna happen. And yes, it can get a very, very messy play when you're doing this, but it's really, really fun. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. If you guys like what you see, make sure to get one of these guys. It's pretty fun. They don't last that long. And they go kind of crazy. But it's all about getting the hang of it. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.